I think we all agree from the level of the president down to barangay captain. Public office is a public trust. In other words, public officers and employees must at all times be accountable to the people. In line with this, Madam Chair, with all due respect, I wish to invite the attention of the committee to the press interview of Her Excellency, Madam Vice President, in the Senate on August 22, 2024. In substance, the Vice President said, Saan naman kayo nakakita? constitutional body, inuutusan isubmit ang audit report. Hindi pa nga tapos. With all due respect, Madam Chair, may I request the resource speaker to comment on her intention about her statement. Madam Vice President, Madam Chair, again, question is not related to the 2025 Office of the Vice President budget proposal. On the issue of confidential funds, we have received audit actions regarding the confidential funds of the OVP. We have submitted our responses and we assure our full cooperation with the ongoing audit. Honorable Luisto. Madam Chair, in other words, this representation wished to be clarified when the Vice President made the statement, intention ba ng ating Vice Presidente na ibahagi o hindi ibahagi sa publiko ang resulta ng nilalaman ng audit report patungkol sa kontrobersyal na 125 million na confidential fund. Nonetheless, Madam Chair, I understand that the Vice President already expressed her intention not to answer this question. Thus, please allow this representation to shift to the COA. May I request the COA to give his comment to this statement of the Vice President? Ask him, Juliano. Madam Chair, pwede po pakiulit po yung question? Okay, you may repeat okay, uh, the question. Hindi po natin isasama sa yung five minutes. During the press interview of the Vice President in the Senate on August 22, 2024, she made a remarks, Saan naman kayo nakakita, constitutional body, inuutusan to submit fraud audit, hindi pa nga tapos. We are requesting the COA to make their comment on this. Madam Chair, ang sagot ko po siguro in relation dun sa subpina kasi um, yung rationale po ng compliance namin sa subpina um, kukot ko lang po yung uh, yung second uh, page po per sa sentence ng subpina the subpoena to the stakeholder is being issued in accordance with the oversight function of the House of Repres Representatives. This order is likewise based on Section 3 of COA Circular 2013-006 dated September 20, uh, 2013. Ang uh, compliance po ng uh, COA ay dahil po ito ay inisyo po ng um, chairperson ng Committee on Appropriations. And uh, under yung pong uh, Congress, yung House of Representatives, is a body authorized by law to issue subpoena. And we cannot interpret otherwise. There is a presumption of regularity and validity do sa subpoena. We cannot uh, unilaterally challenge the um, validity of the subpoena unless uh, the court uh, will interpret that pwede po or hindi pwede. 
yun yun po yung amin ko. Kaya kami po, uh, in-entrust po namin sa, um, dun sa um, uh, House of Representatives, dun sa uh, wisdom po ng leadership, yung compliance sa documents. At um, ito rin yung uh, sinasabi dun sa aming uh, guidelines. Na pag may subpoena po, we have to comply. Honorable Luisa? In relation to your compliance with the subpoena, did you recall having received any feedback from the office of the Vice President pertaining to the same? Actually po, mayroon pong sulat ang Office of the Vice President sa aming Chairman. Na, um, uh, yun nga po, may mga legal issues po na binabanggit. At ito po yung consider na rin po ng uh, Office of the Chairperson noong nag-comply sa subpina do sa STECOM. Madam Chair, with that manifestation of the COA, may I request that the committee be provided with a copy of the letter? And having said so, Madam Chair, may I request for a suspension of the briefing? Briefing suspended. Madam Chair, without going to the letters of could the you, communication. Could you please first manifest what uh, you have in your possession? With me is a copy of the letter of the Office of the Vice President signed by Attorney Zulekati Lopez, Under Secretary and Chief of Staff, addressed to Honorable Gamaliel. A. Cordoba, Chairperson, Commission on Audit, Quezon City. This is dated August 21, 2024. Madam Chair, this is composed of four pages. And I lament that I do not have material time to go over this letter by the letters. Nonetheless, I wish to manifest that the substance of this letter is an opposition to the subpoena that was issued by Congress. If I may read, we are of the position that the subject subpoena should not be complied for the following reasons. If I may continue, Madam Chair. Yes, please proceed. Among the issues that were raised, one is the violation of the principle of separation of power. Second is violation to due process. And third is the confidential nature of the fund. Madam Chair, I wish to manifest my comment to the issues that were raised in this letter. First, the principle of separation of power is not absolute. This is subject to exception. As a matter of fact, we call it the system of check and balances. And that is the very reason why the Congress has the oversight power. And that is to make sure that the laws enacted, including the appropriation laws, and to be specific, the GAA 2022, the source of the confidential fund, is properly implemented. If I may share one of the landmark cases about oversight power is the Abacada Guru party list. There are three consequences of oversight power. One is congressional scrutiny. Two is congressional investigation. And three is legislative supervision. With all due respect, by congressional scrutiny, 
without necessarily conducting an inquiry in aid of legislation. The Congress may request information and report from other branches of the government. Similarly, it can recommend and pass resolution for consideration of the agency involved. Madam Chair, with respect to the violation of due process, I humbly believe that we are all witnesses in today's hearing. We are, in fact, catering the right to due process. A number of the esteemed members of the House propounded questions already, but our Vice President maintained his position not to address the question concerning confidential fund. But speaking about due process, I humbly submit that notice was given. This is a budget briefing and ample opportunity to explain was even accorded. It is my humble submission, Madam Chair, that contrary to the letter, we did not violate due process. As a matter of fact, we catered due process. Finally, Madam Chair, they raised the confidential nature of the fund. Ito po'y tanong na nais kong iwanan sa mga kapwa natin Pilipino. Granting that the nature of the fund is confidential and recognizing Memorandum Circular Number 15, 2023, relating to the privilege communication. Ang tanong po, Madam Chair, when there is notice of this allowance, na nagsasabing ang 72 million out of 125 million a confidential fund ay hindi nagamit nang naaayon sa Joint Circular Number 15-01. And as a matter of fact, ipinababalik ng COA sa pamahalaan. Ang tanong, confidential fund pa po ba ang tawag dito? Privileged communication pa din po ba ang saklaw nito? Oo po. At tatahimik na lang po ba ang Kongreso? I wish to share the case of Chavez versus Public Estates Authority. Kindly wrap up. Three Is it seconds. the right of the people to information on matters of public concern? There is no argument ang pera ng gobyerno ay pera ng taong bayan. Unless the citizens have proper information we cannot fulfill the constitutional mandate that public office is a public trust. I submit, Madam Chair. Madam Vice President, do you care to comment? Yes, uh, Madam Chair, uh, sinas na sabi kani, ang gist lang na nakuha ko na nasabi kanina ni Representative Luistro. Luistro, yes, um, is that uh, wala siyang time na isa-isahin per letter yung letter namin sa Commission on Audit on why uh, the requested documents should not be released to Congress. Pero nakahanda na yung mga sagot niya sa lahat ng arguments namin uh, sa national security, sa due process, and sa separation of powers. Is this part ba of what you said earlier, uh, Representative Kimbo, let, let, let's stick to the plan. Yun yung uh, narinig ko sa iyo kanina, na hindi mo inaccommodate yung point of order na question. And to answer, the Office of the Vice President, Hello. <laughs>
On the issue of confidential funds, we have received audit actions regarding confidential funds of the OBP. We have submitted our responses and we assure our full cooperation with the ongoing and unfinished audit. We are cooperating and answering all the questions in the proper venue that is inside the Commission on Audit, not in the budget hearing for the 2025 proposal of the OBP budget. Thank you. Thank you. Note all your comments. I do not recall seeing the phrase, stick to the plan, Madam Vice President. And uh, so we, yes, we do note your comments and also I believe your compliment of the brilliance of the Honorable Luis Tro. So Madam Chair, to, uh, yes. Madam Chair, may I request that the Secretariat uh, read your stick to the plan line. As I said, Madam Vice President Pasensya na po, we don't have the right to make requests at this point in time. So we proceed to our next member, the Honorable Ramon Gutierrez. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, good afternoon po sa ating lahat. And um, to begin, Mr. Ch uh, Madam Chair, actually may line question po tayo, but